What's up guys, Laidback Gaming here bringing you the 11th episode of Halo Reach Forge Maps. This map is called Inve by Private Parts and it's compatible with you know all the objective game types. It's preferred to be uh, 5v5, I think this game we played 4v4, but anyway yeah like I said it's compatible with all objective game types you know such as Capture the Flag, Crazy King, Oddball, all that stuff like that. It's also compatible with Slayer as you see here and then your mom tries to do this sweet assassination on me. Obviously I don't let him, I end up killing him somehow, he missed me like three times. Um, but no really I actually had a bad game and you'll see it throughout throughout the gameplay I really didn't have a good gameplay I think I got um, you know throughout three minutes of the gameplay I think I might have gotten six kills and that was about it really you know I just didn't I, did, I had a really bad gameplay um, but this was a fun map and you know I, I actually used the pistol a lot for some reason I don't know I was just running around killing people with a pistol the whole time um, but uh, I think he said I think what he said was uh, in his description of the map itself uh, the, you know the theme of this map was supposed to be you know like a war torn uh, um, ruins or whatever uh, so you know it's a, it's a really fun map and it's, it's symmetrical as you can tell and uh, there are sniper there's two sniper rifles on the map uh, if I if I'm not mistaken obviously my teammate has one of them and then uh, in the middle in the middle of the map underneath there's like a little tunnel underneath and that where that's where the rocket launcher is I throw a grenade here my teammate runs up try to teabag the guy with the armor lock ends up dying um, he was an idiot I guess I don't know <laughs> no I'm just kidding but um so yeah like I said there's two sniper rifles on the map there's a rocket launcher in the bottom floor um, so, you know, so there are power weapons on the map. I don't think, I don't, I'm pretty sure there's not a sword. I don't remember seeing a sword on the map itself. Uh, but, you know, I like, I like how, I just really like this map. You know, I, I'm not like, uh, you know, a prof or not, I don't want to say professional. I'm not, um, you know, uh, expert on Slayer maps or Infection maps or, you know, mainly, obviously for me, you know, I, I, I do racetracks. I build racetracks, I review them all the time, so I can, you know, just, you know, tell a lot about a racetrack and, you know, tell you what's right, tell you what's wrong. For me, Slayer maps and stuff, I, I'm not really the best at, honestly, you know, me, for me, it's just like, oh, you know, this looks cool, and I think he did a good job with this. And for me, for this map, I thought he did a good job with, you know, really, you know, uh, adding the terrain into the map to help it affect it and you know he did I mean there was just a lot of places in the map where the terrain was used really well and to where you know he had to build buildings or whatever stuff around the terrain that I think he did a really good job adding uh, you know blocks in by the terrain and you know I just thought he did a really good job on the map he, he's made you know a, a lot of other Slayer maps in the past and you can go check those out, check those out on his file share um, you know but uh, so he's you know he's just an excellent all-around forger he obviously if you followed my channel He's obviously made multiple racetracks. He's, you know, really, really well, uh, you know, just a great forger all around. He's made, you know, he's, you know, I, in my opinion, one of my favorite double wide, uh, double wide track makers on Reach. Um, so, you know, he's made some really good, his, he's made some really great stuff. And uh, along with his racetracks, obviously, like I said, he's made some good Slayer maps and Infection maps. And actually, there's an Infection map that he has just recently, I'm not sure if he's finished with it yet. I guess he can tell me down below in the, in the uh, comments. But, you know, he's recently, he's been working on an infection map, and we actually got to test it out. It wasn't all done when we tested it out, but that was a while back, so it might be done, and if it is, then that's probably going to be the next Forge Maps episode, because that map was really awesome, and it's basically, if you played Halo 3 in the past, it's kind of like an uh, Omega Journey type map uh, for the people that played Halo 3 custom games in the past. Uh, you know, there's there was a game type called Omega Journey, and basically you had to knock down stuff um, to, you know, advance to the, to the other places. Well... Um, obviously in Halo Reach there aren't you know that many objects that you can sit there and you know knock down like um, they had barriers and all that stuff that, like that that you could hit and knock them down and everything uh, they're not you know there's objects in Halo Reach so basically what it is is just like you stay in one room for so much time and you know it's like every I think a minute uh, a mi I think it's every minute 
uh, then you know something will be pushed out of the way by gravity lift or man cannon or whatever and then you advance to the next room and so on and so on and it's a really cool map i've really enjoyed it i think it's you know i think it's going to be a great map when he comes out with it and i can't wait to make a video on it um, i'm sorry i don't really you know know much too much to say about the map because it, like i said it said again i'm not really an expert on slayer maps or infection maps but this was a really well made map and you know very enjoyable it was it's it's small it's not huge and like i said it's made for 5v5 so if you have some friends that want to play it be sure to go download it guys the link's going to be in the description to download this map go play it you know it's a great map to play on really fun and enjoyable i really had a blast on it so uh thanks so much for watching guys if you liked the video please be sure to like and favorite also like i said please be sure to download this guy's map as well as go and check private parts file share out he's got a lot of great stuff on his uh, on his file share so be sure to go check him out guys he's a great forger uh so again thanks so much for watching guys and be sure to subscribe